Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, my name is Adabella Kalika and I'm Dita Nabila. We are from Class 2 BB and we are here to introduce you to one of Panang's most highlighted tourist attractions, the Glora Surya Sea. Stadium, or also known as Jakabare Stadium, is a multifunctional stadium and the third largest stadium after Gelora Bung Karno and Palaran Stadium. And this stadium has been acknowledged as one of the best stadium in Indonesia with an uh, international standard. The stadium is usually used as a place for the Oh, also, in addition, it also serves as the main headquarter of a famous Indonesian football club, Sriwijaya FC. It has land of about 4 hectares wide and 4 tribunes, namely A, B, C, and D, with maximum capacity of 23,000 people surrounding the hill. The area outside the stadium is usually used by locals for recreational purposes. They also tend to do physical exercises here, such as shouting and cycling. The stadium was first built in 1st January 2001 intended to hold the 16th Pekan Olahraga National or National Sport Week when Palembang was appointed as the committee on the 2nd of September 2004. This stadium was named after the Srivijaya dynasty. A prosperous maritime base in the known center in Palembang, which united the western area of Indonesia at the time. The kingdom grew from 7th to 12th century. Glora Sriwijaya underwent a renovation ahead of a World Cup, initially planned to be held on May to June 2020. The new base of Glora Sriwijaya is added once you enter the inner gate. A pen that is at least 2 meters height is built in the area in front of it. Of course, it's not the only thing that happens to the city. The four turbines in this stadium, the north side, west side, east side, and south side, that is how the experiments the most drastic. The turbines which were red, blue, and yellow in painted, are now were painted in two shots only, there were only red and white. This shows significant changes at the largest stadium in Fort Metro. 